Nisang konnichiwa, Samurai Engineer Desh. So let us resume our discussion on familiarization of uh, building code of the people. So we have the structure for each and every town, municipality, and cities. Okay. So we have building official, and we can even have an assistant building official. So these are uh, the structure. So we must have what? Uh, an architect or civil engineer to this position. So what about here? Legal must be an what? Law or lawyer. Okay. Cashier. Okay. So for what? Fee, charges, and penalties. Processing. So in inspection and the enforcement. So there must be two different branches. One for processing and one for inspection and enforcement. But usually, every towns and cities, municipalities do not have this only one evaluation and also they are the same person who will inspect. In So there must be different no? uh, set of uh, assigned person. Okay? So for example, environmental planner one, environmental planner two. So these uh, these are the ones who will approve the permit. Okay, for example, electrical permit will be uh, approved by the electrical engineer under the uh, civil engineer as the building official. Final approval. This uh, would be the final approval. Uh, will be approved. But even it is uh, approved, the inspection section will uh, schedule the inspection of the of the uh, construction, okay? So an electrical inspector will visit the construction, something like that, okay? So, but that is not being done, even in our city, which is a very big city, and actually top six in our country. It's not uh, being done. And it's not being done for all of the building. Building code says all of the building, they are just uh, what? Why they are just the building residential area, uh, residential building? Uh, they are just building residential occupancy, but there is no permit. Okay. So, fees. Okay. Let's uh, talk about next. So, building official upon complaint or moto proprio. What do you mean by moto proprio? Without complainant, even there is no complainant, the building official may initiate action towards what? What? Towards non issue one, suspension, revocation, invalidation of a building permit or certificate of occupancy. That's how powerful is the building official. Okay? Issue once of work stoppage, it can stop the construction or order discontinuance or the use of occupancy or building structure or portion thereof. Declaration of building structure as ruinous or dangerous. Who can declare structure as that? Impose appropriate fines and penalties. Moto proprio, meaning even without somebody complaining about it. They can do it on their own accord. That is what we mean by moto proprio. Okay. Much more if there is somebody who is complaining. For example, your uh, neighbor complaining about you. Okay. Okay. Submit a quarterly situational report to the secretary through the National Building Code. Okay. I think this is not being done. Undertake such and other duties tasks assigned by secretary from the fees. So fees are for uh, what? Payment of uh, how much building permit? Uh, we have an uh, estimate of that. How much is that? Okay. How much is the application for building permit? How much is the application for what? For occupancy permit? We have that fees. Okay. Later on. So we will skip that exemption. 
public buildings and traditional so indigenous family dwellings are exception for example tree house tree house doesn't need building permit that is indigenous family dwelling what else are indigenous family dwelling small houses with the uh, for example row house okay okay what else traditional indigenous family dwelling means a dwelling intended for use and occupancy by the family of the owner only in constructed of native materials such as bamboo nipa logs or lumber okay this is very wrong no lumber timber we have timber design we have high rise uh, wood we have high rise wood in building in other countries but because this is written in our country we cannot for example we have wooden five story building what can you do about it oh it is says it lumber logs so they are exempted from a building permit they are because it is a uh, written here but that may be dangerous that may be dangerous because that is a what five story okay in other countries there are more than five ten stories 12 story wooden structure wood meaning lumber logs so on, okay okay the total cost of it does not exceed exceed if the cost does not exceed 15000 so if that is five story uh, wooden building that is more than 15000 so 15000 pesos is the threshold for you to be able to say that this house is exempted from submission of engineering plan huh. even a very small very small house is more than 15000 so that is not exempted from building plan or building permit okay so very small value okay 15000 so what is 15000 today this is 15000 on year 2005 that is on year 2005 so even if this is uh, what even if this is uh, 45000 times 3 45000 is very small amount for a building okay the uh, the cost of the total cost meaning the total cost Okay, of the material, okay, okay, total cost of the material is 15,000, very small. Use of income from peace, uh, we will skip that. That is the power of the PWs, okay. Okay, communication flow, how they communicate from one another. The building official, this is how they communicate. Secretary of uh, the PWs, uh, National Building Code Development Office, then Building Official of different cities, municipalities, and towns, Legal Officer or uh, uh, Lawyer, District Engineer, Regional Director, or they could communicate like this. Okay? Inspection Division, Processing Division. Okay? So this is the flow of communication. So we will uh, skip this. We will skip this. This is uh, about the uh, fees and reporting collection. We will skip this about treasurer. So we will skip this part. So, okay. We will skip this. This is about uh, finance. Okay, implementing rules and regulation. Then administrative fees, no? Okay. Okay, so it is already done with administrative fines. 10,000 maximum, no? Okay, the maximum fine. So 10,000 even today is uh, big as a fine. For each and every, for each and every, uh, uh, count of uh, disobeying this uh, IRR. 
for each and every count, one count could be as much as 10,000. Okay. Determination of amount of fines, so we will skip that. O mga violation, small violation, less grave violation, grave violation. Okay. So, uh, work stoppage like that, no? Uh, evacuation, so amount of fines. So, grave violation is 10,000. No? Light violation, 5,000. Less grave, 8,000. So, those are the fees, okay? For each and every count. For each and every count. Okay. Penal provision. So we have those. Later. Dangerous abatement of structural hazard. Okay. So. Structural hazard. What do you mean by hazard in the structure? Whenever the building structure portion of the been damaged by fire. So if it is already damaged by fire, Earthquake, wind, flood, or by any other cause. Okay. Uh, the strength, structural strength, or stability is uh, materially less than it was before. So, the structural code of the Philippines for new buildings, similar purpose or location. Okay. So, that is a uh, hazard because it already cuts by. So what we need, if it's already cut fire or uh, flooded, so we need what? Certification from a civil engineer that it could still be used. Because to prove that uh, it is, uh, uh, no, uh, there is no hazard. So who will, uh, who will make an opinion that uh, the particular building is not hazardous, a uh, licensed civil engineer. So for example, I can make a certification, certifying a certain building. So if a client, if a customer would uh, what, approach me, sir, may uh, we request uh, your uh, service, services to have uh, what, certification. Okay, so I can do that. Okay, whenever any portion or member of, or a pertinence thereof is Lightly to fall, okay? Lightly to fall or become detached. So if you can see it, you can see it, the parts portion, likely to fall, okay? You can see it in your uh, own eyes, okay? Whenever, whenever any portion of a building, structure, or any member of pertinences or ornamentation on the exterior is of sufficient stability or is not anchored, okay? It's not of sufficient strength or not anchored. You can see, not anchored, not sufficient in strength, in stability. Okay? That is a structural hazard. Okay? Whenever any portion there has been wrecked, warped, buckled, so there are deformations, settled. Okay? So that is a structural hazard. Okay? So if there, there is a building that has been... Uh, known to be hazardous, it could be condemned by the building official, could be condemned. If the building is condemned by a building official, no one will be able to occupy it. Okay? That is a uh, fact. Uh, an offense to occupy a building that is condemned by the building official, meaning the occupancy permit is being revoked by the building official. Okay? Whenever any portion or member or a portion of this slightly fall or be dislodged or collapse that may injure person or property. So another uh, type of hazard. Okay. Whenever building or structure any shall because of the dilapidation, dilapidated, okay meaning deteriorated, decayed, faulty construction, removal, movement, instability, okay? Deterioration, decay, inadequacy of its foundation, okay? And it's likely to partially, even partially, even more so if totally, 
likely to collapse. Okay, so therefore, that is what to be avoided. Uh, that is hazardous. Whenever the exterior walls or other vertical structure member will buckle or buckling, so we will uh, study that buckling to such an extent that a plumb line passing through the central door does not fall inside the middle one third of the base. So one third, uh, middle one third of the base. So plumb line, what is the plumb line? That is car carpenter's plumb line. So in our local dialect, that is pahulog. No? Pahulog, okay? Pahulog. So you can notice the what? The verticality, right? So if uh, the verticality does not fall inside the middle one third, so it is now outside the middle one third, so therefore, uh, it is uh, a hazard, a structural hazard. Exterior walls, vertical structural member, okay? Lean or buckle, okay? Then whenever building structure, exclusive foundation shows 33% or more damage, okay? 50% damage or deterioration of its non-supporting members. So 33% and 50%, okay? And whenever the building structure has been so damaged by fire, okay? Earthquake or flood has become so dilapidated. So, then whenever building structure which whether or not erected or accordance with applicable laws or has any non-supporting part, non-supporting part, less than 50% or in any supporting part, member, person, less than 66% of what? Strength, fire resistant quality, weather resistant quality, okay? Uh, they are hazardous, okay? Whenever any portion of the building structure remains on the site after its demolition, so remaining, so... And it's abandoned for a period in excess of 12 months as to make it a nuisance or hazard to the public. So they are hazard, structural hazard. We have fire hazards. We have unsafe wiring. We have unsafe mechanical. So we only read the structural part. Okay? We will uh, be interested for mechanical under the engineering, what, utilities, unsafe mechanical, installation, Inadequate sanitation, plumbing, health facilities. But what? What do you mean by architectural deficiency? We have to learn this because we are interested in what? Building design, which is architectural plan. All building structure or portion thereof, deficiency, architectural deficiency. This is not hazard. Okay? For purposes other than their intended uses. So that is deficiency. Improper, unauthorized occupancy, okay? Insufficient amount of natural light and ventilation, take note of that. Lighting and ventilation, inadequate open spaces such as courts and yards as required, okay? That is architectural deficiency. Nobody will be, what, dying because of that, but that is a deficiency. Inadequate sizes of rooms and space, dimensions, and windows openings. There are standard for doors and windows openings and rooms. Okay? Dilapidate. Even uh, size of comfort rooms, there is a standard. Dilapidated, uh, and, uh, dilapidated blighted, and other unpresentable building structure against generally accepted aesthetic standards. So, huh, aesthetic, no? So, other remedies, uh, Paul, so the rights and, uh, for uh, remedies may be uh, look uh, after into other existing laws. Okay? So, enforcement by the uh, what? Building official, okay, we will skip that, okay? And then we have here the what? The procedure for abatement, demolition of dangerous buildings. So take note of that. Even demolition, there must be a plan, permit, and uh, procedure. Okay. So let us go to chapter three, permits and inspection. Mm. Building permit. All right. 
No person, firm, corporation, including any agency or instrumentality of government. So meaning to say, they are not exempted. E even the government is not exempted. Shall construct, alter, repair, convert, use, occupy, move, demolish, and add any building structure or any portion thereof or cause the same to be done without first obtaining a building permit thereof from the building official. Why there is no building permit for residential? Okay. So that is uh, what? Uh, violation, no? Permit supplementary to building permit shall be applied for and issued by building official. This include what? What are other permits? These are the permits, accessory or ancillary. Accessory, ancillary. What are those? Architectural permit. Those are ancillary permit. Architectural, civil, or structural, electrical, mechanical, sanitary, plumbing, electronics permit. These are what we call ancillary permit. Okay? They are called ancillary permit. What are... Uh, so, this permit, if you are going to ask for a permission, you need to what? Submit the drawing. So, architectural plan, a structural plan, electrical plan. So, you have to submit the drawing and design. What do you mean by design? Design means... Uh, the uh, drawing, including the specification, including the the uh, assumptions, okay? The sketch, the uh, code requirements, specification, and assumptions, including the drawing. So that is what we mean by uh, the design. Of course, including the computation. So you will not come up with the result if you do not have a computation. So. That is what we mean by design, okay? So, accessory permit. So, that is uh, issued by building official. For example, building permit, that is what? Okay? Accessory permit for other, uh, what? Uh, type, for example, scaffolding permit. Okay? So, that is accessory permit. Exemption from building permits. Okay, these are the list of exemption. Minor construction. If uh, the construction is minor, to let shed, waiting shed, outhouses, those are exempted. Greenhouse for agricultural use. Greenhouse. Children's playhouse. Aviaries. Aviaries are those uh, agricultural structure which are uh, what. Uh, in close, uh, what, for example, birds, birds aviary, butterfly aviary, so those uh, enclosures, okay? Poultry houses, encloses, what, chicken, ducks, and the like, and not exceeding, what, if the area is six square meter, okay, in total area, that is what, exempted, because that is minor construction. Six square meter, Take note, the uh, the footprint of what of parking area is about eight to twelve square meter. Okay, for parking area, the footprint, the requirement for parking area. So this is smaller than the parking area, six square meter. So that's why it is exempted. Addition of open terrace, patio, resting on the ground. Okay, if uh, that is resting on the ground, it and it's not exceeding 20 square meters. So, additional terrace resting on the ground within 20 square meters, so exempted. Exclusively for private use of the owner, not for public use, meaning not for party. If that is party, that is not for uh, all your uh, owner's use. There are invited guests, so that is public, okay? So 20 square meter. So installation of window grills, no need. Garden pools, habitation, no need. About 500 mm in depth, okay? For watering plants, no? Aquarium, aquarium, 500 mm. So half meter, no? Half meter for uh, garden pools. Garden masonry walls, other than party walls, not exceeding what? 
1.2 meters. This is 1.2 meters, okay? 1.2 meters is about what? Okay? So about four feet, about four feet in height. Footpaths, uh, in a residential garden, that is uh, not uh, needed. Repair works, exempted, okay? Repair works with condition right there. No? There are repair works that are uh, exempted. Okay, so these are the type of repair works that are exempted. Repair or replacement of plumbing fixture, fittings or piping such as toilet bowls, laboratories, or that. Those are exempted. No? Repair of perimeter pens, walls, exempted. Repair of replacement work of flooring. Repair or replacement of work of doors and windows. Repair of replacement of interior portion of house, not involving additional alteration. Repair replacement of non-load bearing partition walls. Walls is not structural, so repair of that is okay without permit. Repair works not affecting or involving any structural member, such as replacement of deteriorated roofing sheets or tiles. Roofing sheets, tiles, gutters, downspouts, fascias, okay? So these are listing of uh, exemption, okay? So other than that, we need building permit. In case the applicant is registered owner of the lot, so we need TCT. So that is the owner of the land must be what? Uh, declared, no? So paying taxes properly with tax declaration document. Uh, that is for, this is for what? For a uh, registered owner of the lot, okay? If you are not the owner of the lot and you want to build the building, you need to show the what? The contract lease agreement. Yeah? Contract. Okay, you know, contract of lease, you need to show the contract of lease or date of absolute sale. Okay? Then after that, next one, very important. Please remember this. Five sets of engineering plans. Okay, five sets required by law. Required by law, five sets. Okay? Required by law, five sets. Required by Fire Code of the Philippines, six copies. According to Fire Code of the Philippines, six copies. According to National Building Code, five copies. One for contractor, one for engineer, one for owner, one for uh, building official. There is uh, one extra copy. Right? So... There are a lot of engineering plans in the what? In the city hall, in the uh, no, building official. Oh, geodetic engineer have to uh, sign and seal. No, sign here. Oh. Sign and seal over their names. Okay, geodetic engineer in case of lot survey. So lot survey, line and bridge. Okay, line and bridge. Architect, architectural documents. In case of architectural, either an architect or interior design design. So this is now what? Corrected. This is corrected. A civil engineer can sign this one. Okay. It is now corrected. Okay. Civil engineer in case of civil or structural document. Professional electrical engineer in case of electrical. Professional mechanical engineer in case of mechanical, sanitary engineer in case of sanitary, master plumber in case of plumbing documents. Take note, plumbing documents are different from sanitary documents. So minimum master plumber. Sanitary engineer is now uh, bar. Okay. They are now barred from signing plumbing documents according to the law. Okay, according to the law. Electronics in general, in case of electronics. So, what do you need to know about our engineering plans, building plans, or what we call architectural plans? What are those inside? Check your uh, check your copy. Hold your copy right now. Hold your copy. Hold your copy of your engineering plans. Look at the architectural drawing. 
there must be a vicinity map, there must be a location map, okay? And the third one, there must be a site development plan. So there are three, vicinity map, location plan, and site development plan. Minimum three. After that, the next page must have what? Perspective drawing. Next page may have floor plans, okay? First floor plan, second floor plans, and so on. After that, we need your elevation, at least four, okay? Elevation, drawing, okay? After elevation, we need section, at least two, showing grid lines, okay? What do you mean by grid lines? Look at your plans, okay? Look at your plans. What do you mean by grid lines? Those lines with letters A, B, C, D at the top or one, two, three, four, five on the side. Do you follow? Can you see it? Those are what we call grid lines. So there are lines there, for example, in floor plan. We have lines with letters A, B, C, D and so on. And we have horizontal lines with one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay? So those are what we call grid lines. So there are two section drawings. There are four uh, elevation drawing minimum. So if there are uh, three floors, three floor plans. If there are two story, two floor plans. Okay? So it depends upon, the floor plan depends upon how many story, okay? Reflected ceiling plan, okay? We still have reflected ceiling plan, which shows design, location, finishing, specification of material, lighting picture, diffuser, but uh, decoration, air conditioning, exhaust, return grills, sprinkler. At least take note, one is to 100. Look at your uh, drawing, look at your what? Uh, assign engineering plan, one is to 100. Take note, one is to 100. Minimum, not less than, meaning minimum, okay? So I will ask you later, are your groups uh, engineering plan satisfies this requirement for architectural or building plan? Uh. I will ask those things. Okay. So this is what uh, I already talked about. We have what? The sheet engineering plan. We have uh, what? Blueprint or original copy. We have the title block with the designer or the company, the uh, licensed engineer or licensed architect, project title, is last location, meaning address, okay? Owner must be there, and sheet number, okay? Vertical column here, we have approval. What do you see? Office of the building official, then the name of the municipality, district, city, or town, okay? Here, okay, here. That must not be left blank. That must be Build up. That must be spilled up. That must be left blank. Okay. Next, land use, zoning, then line grades for uh, genetic, architectural, architect and civil, civil, structural, for civil, electrical, electrical engineer, mechanical, mechanical engineer, sanitary, uh, plumbing, electronics, and so on. Okay. So these are the species. Okay. So this is the first page. First page, table of contents must be here beside the approval uh, column here. This is the approval column. Table of contents must be here. Then what is uh, must be expected on the first page? Perspective, drawing, site development plan, location plan must be there, okay? And the dimension is uh, there, 80 mm. That is mm. This is 25 mm from here to this point, 25 mm. Bound, uh, here. This is 25 mm. 
This is also 25 mm from this to the you know boundary lines of the drawing paper. Okay. Then this is 40, 40 mm. Okay. So this is 45 here. The margins, the left side margin is 45. All the other margins, top, right side, and bottom are 25 mm. So 8 mm, this is 40 mm in height. Okay. So this is defined. What do you mean by L? Length of paper. What do you mean by W? Width of paper. These are the acceptable type of paper. Even the size of paper is discussed here. Okay. Type zero, meaning 841 mm by 1189 mm. A1, A2, A3, and so on. These are only the allowable type of paper. So there are only four different types of paper. Note, for extraordinary cases, the building official may grant okay, the use of non-standard sheet of paper. So the power is on the building official. Okay? But these four are acceptable. Okay? Take note of this paper. So measure. Use your measuring tape. Measure your paper. Measure your engineering plan. Okay? Use your measuring tape. Here, okay. Measure, use your measuring tape, okay. So here, like this. Use your measuring tape. Measure your paper in general plan. Now, if that uh, satisfies the sizes of drawing sheets, okay. So, and you will notice they are not. They are not following the code. They're not following the end. This is the code. This is the law. A standard. So what are the information that must be given for the professional PRC license number? Validity of that license. Then IAPOA. What is that? That is your what? Uh, membership to professional organization. For example, PIS. What is your uh, uh, membership number to PIS? Oh, that is included. OR number of your membership to PICE. PTR number, that is your tax as a professional. Date, when you pay the PTR. Place, where you paid your PTR. TIN number. So these are the important things before an engineer can sign and seal. Yeah. So for structural engineer like this, uh, example of electrical, example of mechanical, like that, and so on. Okay? Okay? So those must be located on, like this, in the example. Okay? They are defined in the, the code. Okay? What are the uh, expected contents? Okay. Details about this. Okay? So these are ar architectural. These are additional details in architectural, okay? Schedule of doors and windows, architectural and or in civil engineers, we call that as building design. Schedule of doors and windows, schedule of finishing. How about interior, architectural interior design? So those are the listings, okay? So next, how about, so take a look. Fire safety documents is under supposed to be by by what architectural interior interior design fire safety documents, but now it is not being followed because we have other another code another law that is fire code of the Philippines. Okay, so let us uh, go to structural. What is important to us? 